Um, I was about to say Christmas concert, <laughs> choir concert. It's uh, for the high school and middle school. It's a, it's going to be all the concerts all rolled into one. Uh, we are here. We are so glad to have you. Okay. Uh, the speakers are there, so from here it just sounds like yeah. nothing's happening at all. Um, I would like to introduce you to Mrs. Petty. She is our elementary and intermediate school uh, director, and so we're going to start with intermediate school. I'm going to pray here in a second. But before we do that, if you're a faculty or staff member at Castle Hills, thank you. It's been a long day for you. I know it's a long day for the kids. But would you stand if you're um, on the fine arts faculty or on our school faculty, please, so we can say thank you to you. for running our tech and putting all of the things that go into the back end side of putting on a concert together. Um, they're listed uh, in the program, but I wanted to specifically thank them, so thank you guys. <laughs> so our concert is called Rejoice, and as we were looking at the past year and all of the many times that uh, Mrs. Petty or I or any of the other fine arts faculty uh, we're ready, we were on a roll. We had gotten it going, and then we had a group quarantine. And so then we would have no altos uh, in the choir, or we would miss the kids doing it. So we are here, rejoice. In Philippians it says, rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Amen. So tonight is going to be a night of, um, of worshiping the Lord, worshiping our Father, rejoicing, for all that he has done for us, for all he is doing in us, um, for walking us through hard days, and some of you may have had really hard days in the past year, but rejoice. God is good, he is faithful. So join me in prayer. Father, we rejoice in you because you are good and you are faithful, and you have seen us through moment by moment and day by day, in the past year and before, and you will continue to do so in the days and months and years ahead, because that is who you are. You are a faithful, loving, almighty God, and you are worthy of our worship. Lord, I pray for all that's going to take place tonight, uh, that for Mrs. Petty and for our accompanist and for the students singing in the choir, Lord, let us enter into the worship that is consistently taking place around the throne of God that when it leaves our lips and it reaches the ears of those here, that your Holy Spirit will have done what only you can do so that we would see beyond the performance to the heart of you as our Father. We love you. Amen. 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 Yes. 
virtual uh, titled I'm Gonna Sing. And we have one more selection for you um, by ourselves. And I just wanted to mention and commend these students behind me because signing up for choir in a year such as this was probably a leap of faith on their part. And we tried to be creative with how we could perform and share our music. We've been talking a lot <coughs> lately about the importance of the music as a singer, but as a believer, to share that music is really um, the most important thing. We've been told to go and tell the good news of Jesus. And so without an audience here, there's been a piece missing of our message. And we are so delighted that you're here tonight. And we're so happy to share our music with you.
Uh, but I give it a good go, and so it made a huge difference to have her. And so, Mrs. Daly, thank you.
And what we've done is there's a song written, all of the drumming though, and the form of the song was all created by the students. We would try certain things and say, well, do we like this? What do we like about it? What do we not like about it? How would we like to change it? And so this is what they have come up with. This is our Yonder Come Day Middle School Composition 2021.
And then rejoice, he is our shepherd, he is our fortress, he's our rock of salvation, our lamb of God. In this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief of all kinds. Masters in this hall, and then that will be followed by Jean de la Moulin, which is a competition piece we would have done this year, and then another Christmas favorite, a request by our senior girls, A la Manita Nana.
next set of songs, we're going to start with In You I Found. And uh, this is a song that we were going to sing in competition last year, and it's a favorite of the students. So they were totally bummed that we didn't get to do it last year. And so it was one of the first things, can we do In You I Found? So I hope that you will enjoy um, a Texas composer. Her name is Laura Farnell. She's actually a teacher in Texas, um, as also on the side, or I'm not sure which one is the side, the teaching in the classroom or the composing, but enjoy In You I Found by our women's choir. Uh, they are amazingly fun. 
they come in all different sizes and based on the size, <coughs> that gives it a different pitch. And so there is a piece that my former worship pastor, Greg Barner, wrote years ago. It's a four-part piece. It has a gazillion parts in it. It is so stinking hard. And uh, we started working on it <coughs> in the fall. And we were ready to go at Christmas and, like, so ready. And then kids were 14. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought, well, we're going to do it. It's a... Uh, it's that song. So another Christmas <coughs> song thrown in here. But uh, it didn't work on the stage. The stage sounded weird. So we recorded it today. And so if you will put your attention on our screens, uh, we are going to, uh, God willing, yes, we're good. Yes, uh, it's working. Uh, here is Stompin' Carol by our high school whacker ensemble. Hi, friend. Broadway songs. 
we're going to have another day of sun, and then, uh, what is the title of that last one? No, oh, I See the Light uh, from Tangle, and so we have some soloists. So, uh, here we go.
like to do a couple of choir awards. We do this traditionally at our last concert, and it's just recognizing a few individuals. We're gonna start first with our trophies that I wrapped up. So could you unwrap the trophies? I will now do the reveal. Initiated by Ernst & Young, they have verified the results. Uh, so the Choir Leadership Award is awarded to an individual, and that shows servant leadership, moral courage, personal integrity, and by their words and actions, make those around them in the choir room better. So the individual who I selected for our middle school choir exudes the Christ life in attitude and action, motivated to continue to improve and help those in the choir to improve, mindful of the feelings of others in the choir, affirming of everyone in the choir, and so, uh, this is our middle school award. Could y'all bring it on up? Yeah, Katie, you bring it on. Uh, the recipient uh, is kind of the, the heart of our little middle school choir, and that is Emma Westbrook. <laughs> never gives up, always working to improve. Optimistic about the future, radiant. The radiance of Christ is evident. Insightful into the needs of others. Amazing as a servant leader and a person. And so the recipient of the High School Servant Leadership Award is Victoria Frederick. <laughs> I'll do that right now. I would love to do that. 
and she's got a ton of enthusiasm. She has great energy. She jumps up, and enthusiasm is contagious. And so it has been really delightful, Riley, for you to spend your senior year at Castle Hills. Thank you. <laughs> So Michaela, you will be great in this. Church. 
I had not heard it. And as soon as we finished singing it, I took a copy. And I, I brought it and I said, all right, I've got a new song for you to learn. And uh, we practiced it and sang it for a couple of days. And then the next day, third day or so, I said, so how many of you have been singing this song and it's stuck in your head? And you know, a good half of them were like, oh my gosh, I keep singing this song. Which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. They are now renewing their mind in truth while singing songs that are true about who our Father is. Uh, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Jesus says, I have come that they might have life and have it to the fullest. 2 Corinthians 5, 16 to 17. From now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we once regarded Christ in this way, we do so no longer. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, and the new has come. We talk a lot about uh, being a new creation in Christ, being in Christ, uh, that he is now our life. And so would you all stand and join us in worship while we sing His Name is Light and No Spirit. <coughs> And whenever I think about, like, he leads, we're his sheep, and so we follow him. So he led us to San Antonio, whether we like it or not, but dragged me by my feet, kicking and screaming. And I, but he knows that it's it's best for us. And we've, we've been struggling to find a permanent house for renting right now. But the word fortress, to me, when I hear, I think of, like, like home. And we may not have a permanent home here, but we have a permanent home with Jesus in heaven. And that's what this song used to be.
school tonight. That was a really important evening <coughs> for the school and for your families. We have been through a really challenging year in our nation, uh, in life, in our schools, in many of our personal stories. Many of you may know that one of our uh, former uh, SOAR directors, our special education directors, and staff member in the offices this year uh, lost her husband, uh, a very dear friend of Mr. and Ms. Pinkston, and just, uh, uh, you know, this has not been a journey, but we are not daffodils. You know, we are resilient. That we are people of hope. We are showed up, we come together, we've done school, we've uh, wrapped our arms around the challenges, uh, we did not bow or bend. We found our way, and we will cross that stage seniors, uh, more than conquerors, and strong and mighty. We live in a fortress, and his name is Jesus. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what comes our way. You've learned that this year. It doesn't matter what comes your way in life, because you will go through in him. Come heaven or high water, it doesn't matter. You know, to live is Christ, to die is gain. And this has been good. And you were good in Christ tonight. Thank you. This is real education. This is real learning. Let's pray. So we give you glory, O oh great God and King. We bow before you. You are. You have humbled the nations. And though the world is tearing apart, we are steady and unstirred. And God, we see all around us a challenge and anarchy and, uh, and, uh, and division. But we are people of hope. God, we are people of every kindred, tribe, color, and nation represented in this room. And we have a king, and his name is Jesus. And we will not look to the right or to the left, to the up or down. We will only look into the eyes of a savior who is a steady God, a noble champion, a great provider, a shepherd of our souls, and endearing truth which we stand in and stand for. We love you tonight because our children, which are no longer children, uh, they stand eye to eye with us and uh, shoulder to shoulder with us. But we treasure who they're becoming and the strength that is rising, the resiliency that is theirs. So we just uh, dedicate these final days and weeks a commencement a week from Friday night and all the other joys of the other programs and ceremonies. It is so good to be back in the house together and we just praise and lift up the name of the Lord whose house this is. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.